Hundreds of people are bringing vigil lamps, flowers, and candles to the place where the heroes of the Heavenly Hundred were killed. People from all over Ukraine, friends and relatives, came to commemorate the dead in Kyiv. Signs in the places where activists were killed remind passers-by of the violent clashes. These signs were put on trees by friends of the activists. Those who survived February 18th say it was their second birthday. We came to commemorate everyone. We were also wounded, but we were lucky not to be included to the Heavenly Hundred. On February 18th, we were injured in Mariinsky Park. We were the ones who started the charge. Our 15th company was the one that got in the thick of it. Our people were killed. For the fifth year in a row, white angels are hung on the trees along the Heavenly Hundred Avenue. These angels are made by both adults and children alike as a symbol of those bloody days and memory for the deceased. This is sincerity. It's emotional. It brings us back to those days when all of this was happening. We helped. Stood in the line to pass cobblestones. We were with our heroes, those who were on Maidan and those who were already in heaven. I am participating in this commemoration not for the first time. I believe that people like our guardian angels should be remembered. They defended this country so we would have a normal life. This is why I believe that every Ukrainian should participate in this event. Each year, more cities join this event. The organizer says that trees are decorated with paper angels in the east and west of Ukraine, as well as abroad. France, Turkey, Poland, Latvia, and maybe other countries which we don't know about since we're not monitoring all the countries closely. The event will last until the end of the week. Maybe others will join in the next few days through February 20th, since that was the day when we took the most losses. On February 18th, 2014, 23 people were killed during the clashes on Institutska Street and 509 injured. During the following two days, the number of casualties grew three times. Overall, 107 activists were killed over the span of the Revolution of Dignity, reported by Evgenia Burda, UATV.